so uh, welcome back everybody um, so as of last time um, you guys had traveled from uh, Malar farm to uh, Lyra Heights um, upon getting to, to Lyra Heights you discovered a um, a man dying like up against the wall in front of the corp corpses of five wolves uh, which um, Talari had um, very graciously saved a uh, man that guy is known as Elias Forest Stalker uh, a ranger um, and he's agreed and off the offering of Krusk he's agreed to join you for the time being um, uh, Terry Gertha climbed the city wall with the help of Nadia and um she was able to notice that, that they are undead inside. Upon that discovery, um, you guys decide to go to the East Gate and cleanse this town of the undead, essentially. Um, so far, you've done a fair amount of the dead that are outside in the, um, in the open. Um, Guile has currently opened two houses in the northeastern area of the city, currently alone, um, while the rest of you are headed towards the in the, the centre of the city, um, taking out the, the bulk of the uh, undead there. As we left yesterday, um, we were able to see that a um, Elias knocked down an undead that we all that you assumed dead. But the undead bounced uh, or started to murmur again as if it didn't die from that swing. And that's where we are now. So, you, you hear the, uh, the, the, um, the zombie stir. And it's um, now it's going round to Guile's turn. Yeah, boy. So you've currently opened the two doors. Mm -hmm. And um, they're both open for you for you to go in or whatever. I would love to loot and ransack. Okay. Tentatively. So you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so with tentatively, are you trying to go stealthily? Quietly? I would. Yeah, I would. I would like yeah. to roll stealth. Yep. So please go ahead and roll stealth. That is the word ransack and the word tentatively don't usually go together. <laughs> that is a twelve. Okay. Gentle so, <laughs> so, as you, so as you go into... Uh, which one are you going? The left one or the right one? We'll say the one I'm next to. The left okay, one. so go into the left one. Okay, so you go into that, um, that house. And as you are walking through, um, your, your, your shoes um, go along the, the floor, somewhat creaking every now and again through the, the old age of, of the building and the stress it's been through over the last year, um, you hear very quiet sobbing in the distance. Mm. But it's not, it's not a, um, a natural sobbing. It's very ethereal and echoey. Evil. Mm. Right. Well, I was oh, definitely not going to go towards it. Just definitely lacks the compassion, even if it wasn't ethereal. <laughs> so, um, what, what do I see in the immediate surroundings in the room that I'm in? So, in in there, in the hallway. So, the ethereal. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not taking it. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Fuck. That's fine. Um, so, uh, the ethereal. Um, so, in this hallway you're in, you've got a living room to your left. Mm. In the kitchen area is where you hear the the um, ethereal like crying and you've got stairs upstairs stairs going up that you could also go to okay um were there upstairs so it, um is there an upstairs window facing out into the street yes there will okay be. uh in that case living room first please okay so you go into the living room and please roll another stealth check Sounds a 20, uh, unnatural. Okay, so as you go in, you're able to avoid, as you open the door, you're able to uh, do it quietly enough so it doesn't creak, and you see before you is just broken glass, plates, 
mm. uh, ceramics, all sorts of like broken materials in there when it looks very thoroughly ransacked. So it's already so. been ransacked. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, does it look like... Uh, I don't know how I'd tell if people have been upstairs or not. Um, I mean, if it's already been looted, I'm not interested, really. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time to... Yeah, I'm, I'm going out of this one. Okay, so that'll be your turn. Yeah, I'll ju yeah, yeah. Okay, so then it's on to Tirigertha. Um, so you've got this zombie w w walking away from you at the moment. Yeah, what's the distance again? I can't remember. It's three okay. times. Three times, that's about 60-something. Yeah, No so way I'm going to make it. Uh... It's disadvantage, definitely. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, if I am... Um, how high am I again? Sorry, on the wall? Um, it's about 40-ish feet, I think, off my head. Yeah, I'm going to um, jump down. Okay. That's who goes. And then sort of run as as far as I... As close as I can to this zombie person from behind okay. me. Okay, so... We'll just double check what happens when you fall. I mean, I'm going to use a key point uh, to slow fall. Okay. Landing. And that means that. Oh, so that, that means that uh, I can use my reaction when falling to reduce the fall damage I take by an amount equal to five times my monk level, so 15. Okay. Oh no, not 15. Uh, five times my monk level, 20 now. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, aren't you level four? Yes, we're all level four now. That is yeah. correct. Mm, did I do my level? You should have done. <laughs> I mean, that level up was a while ago now. Yeah, we've been. Yeah, we leveled level up four ages, ages ago. If you oh, haven't okay, leveled up, you've yeah. been playing. You know. I'm pretty sure you are, because I know that your health went up for you know sleep. Oh, okay. oh yeah, your health went up, and then you also took sleep. I think the way you said it, I. Uh... I so you take one d6 for every ten feet you fell, so that's four d6. Minus the forty feet. feet. Minus fifteen. Minus twenty. Minus twenty. Okay, let's roll four d6. And yeah, that's thirteen. So you you're able to do that easily enough. Yes. And then I don't know how far. I'd be able to get. I've sort of estimated about there. Well, I've got I've got 50 feet of my own movement, and I don't know what my ring is. Well, your ring's eight at the moment. Okay, so I'll get. Yeah, I reckon here. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and I might I, I might throw one of my daggers at him in the back just to get his attention. Okay. Go go ahead. That is. Uh, 11? Right. Uh, 11, shit. That's a zombie. Yeah, 11 hits. Yes! Ha! 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 Okay, that's, uh, that's 5 damage. And they're rolling a 1. Okay. Look. So then, it's now... Uh... Nadia's turn? Uh-huh. Uh... The zombie that Elias... Is that his name, Elias? Elias, yeah. Elias, sorry. Uh, that Elias has just walloped <laughs> and is getting back up again, isn't it? Yes, so it's stirring at the moment. It hasn't had Can I get over here and fucking smack it one? Yeah, that's, ab that's absolutely fine. Cool, in which case I go over there. I smack it one. I roll... My d20, which I have absolutely got out prepared. What are you want about? Uh, that's a 17? Yep, yes. That's, uh, a 17? So, yeah, so it stops. So that's a definite... Um... And then my so, battle axe. So, yeah, so a hit. Hit um, completely does it because it's only it was only on one from the from the um, zombie thing, um, okay. and yeah, so it completely stops you. Um, 
She's definitely Feel aiming... free to describe how you deal with a zombie. Yeah, she's taking her battle axe in both hands and basically splitting its head in two because oh, that'll guarantee it doesn't get back up. Oh, you're not wrong there. Um, <laughs> um, that's fair. That, that's thoroughly, thoroughly kills that zombie. Um, yeah. Fantastic. So you've currently cleared um, this to area of the town square. The um, the rest of you, the only zombies or undead that you can see at the moment is towards where Tolari is at the moment, or T- Terrigeth, sorry, is at the moment, and that's this way with the green zombie, the green, the green dot the zombie. Can they, can they see that? Are we blocked in by walls or anything? No, because these are the gates. See? These are the inner wall gates. Yeah. Can we not so see they're the all walls? open. Can we not see the pink skeleton? Because it's kind of on that. No. Okay. The way the houses fall, that's, that's not fine. really. Okay. Damn, I was hoping I had more privacy for for what I was going to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's never a, mind. That's that that's not a good sentence. No. <laughs> Ever. So it's uh, it's now um, when Talari's the undead are turn. involved. Right. So it's now Talari's turn. You have got a generous amount of movement until yeah. you, you you can see a creature. I can actually move. Can I hear? I don't know if I can. Oh, I can probably just say, right, is there any more? Oh, is that, is that IC or...? Oh, okay. I guess that's IC. All right. Um, All right, I'll... Uh, right. All those shoes behind yeah. me. Right, cool. I'll walk up then to about what, here. And I'll blast. I'll use Firebolt on the green one. Sure. A oh, that might not hit. Uh, probably not. Eight. A hits. Wow, eight hits. Wow. Zombies are. They're basically commoners, so they have very low AC. Zombies are a bit shit. Incredible. But they have higher um, hit points, so that makes it harder. Fair enough. Alright, D10. It's a nine. Nine? Nine. Nine damage. Nine, yeah. Nine damage. Cool. Not um, bad. It um, com- catches fire and combusts and falls to ash. Nice. What you... the hell? <laughs> I had him. This is not a competition. This is for survival. <sighs> Doesn't mean you can't enjoy it, Talari. Yes. Just don't forget their job at hand. The job at hand is killing things, and we're enjoying killing things. This is a sad moment. These people should be laid to rest. How do you kill that which has no life? Destroying things, then, if you're going to be picky about it. (laughs) (laughs) And she rolls her eyes. It's now Thoradin's turn. Sweet. So I'm going to raid the bank. (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm first going to travel to the bank and Not see... what I expected you to say. <laughs> and see what it's plan. like. And see what it's like. Okay, so you, you head to the bank. Um, so, uh, peering into the window of the bank, um, it's pretty empty inside. Obviously, you can't see any, any person wandering around, and there's no um, uh, torches or anything lit currently for you to see further inside. Do you try to open the door? Um, so, from what I can see, what is the side. what is the setup? Can I see this big safe, or is it like my you, you get gates? the safe of the teleportation room thing? So every every single time you've been in there, you haven't seen a safe. That must be in a separate room or somewhere else in the, in the inside that bank. Well, what the the setup of of the banks is you have the the tellers teller area where they do the transactions there's the central symbol where you've seen people teleport to and from with the pillars around oh motherfucker i forgot about that yeah i was thinking about that as well <laughs> oh no i don't think there's we gonna be don't nothing we can. 
So yeah. there potentially might be might be stuff there. You can certainly like, try and open the door uh, and, like, and anything they would have been. They like, could have like registers, yeah. I mean, anything they'd be on, like on yeah. hand or something. Get but the, the thing cash is, registers. Like, if, if this place was raided, that is the first place. Like. Yeah. I mean, it's worth checking, obviously, but I'm just saying. There's, there's gonna be nothing really I'd there. I'd be surprised if there's anything there. Behind the gates, is there mm. much space there? What do you mean? With the bank? Yeah, yeah. So like behind the tellers, where the teller, where the mm -hmm. tellers sit, is there yeah. a lot of space behind them? It's a fair amount. There's like, you can imagine there's certainly room for like offices or and stuff for counting, etc. Yeah, to be fair, I'll go. I'll go, I'll go in. Thoridin, I'll have a quick Thoridin look as well. This because considering all the towns are the same setup, mm. could be a good way of you learning the route, like the layout. Yeah, that's true. They're all set up the same. Touchy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been behind. So, yeah. behind that so you enter the the bank, and inside, um, you look around. It's very echoey and and rather eerie. And uh, can you please roll perception just to see how well you handle the the dark? You don't have dark vision, do you? Dwarf, no. No. So uh, you oh, yeah, roll with. You do. I do, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, you roll, you roll perception then. Perception. Uh, ten. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, it, look, it looks like just an empty version of every other bank you've been in, except for it was just a lot darker. Can I go behind the registers? Yeah. I'm so. Good. As you investigate um, further round, um, there is um, some very low growling and murmuring <laughs> deeper in the bank. God, no. Wait, when yeah. you say deeper in the bank, this is where I'm going to on yes. the registers. Where, where you're heading. <laughs> I think you should oh, help them. They're clearly in pain. Wow. Um... <laughs> <laughs> These are similar sounds to the undead you've heard outside in the city. The bank is secretly a dungeon. How many? <laughs> how many? Can I tell how many are making the noise? From your perception. No, you can try again, I suppose. Um, is it all gate? Like, is it all barred? No, not at this time. The the, the doors that um. That you that you went through that would normally you assume be locked has been broken into, and like busted. Mm. Screw! I can take him. I'm gonna bang the warhammer on the ground and say, "Get out, you beasts! <laughs> Stop hiding!" Okay, and with that we'll go on to uh, <laughs> not beasts, but we'll go on to Krusk. So, it's, okay. He doesn't know what to call them yet. So I can't actually see any skeletons from my point of view, can I? No, not currently. You can certainly um, move around and, and walk yeah. around a bit more. You saw Thoradin go into the bank, and you see Terragotha further down the uh, the streets okay. over here. So I'm going to call over to Turi and say, Turi, Turi can, can you see any other uh, undead? Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There, uh, there is one... Uh, just on this side of the building. And I'm pointing to this general direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's I'll fine. loft my sword and give a battle cry. <laughs> and say, Fatir! <laughs> and I'll charge over. Uh, so what, what's this going to happen against? Triple, isn't it? It's three times, but just with speed up dead time, you can, you can move certainly a lot closer. Okay. So you get to about there before you use okay, so your movement. Unless so you I'm want to dash. close enough to reach it. You can certainly dash and get to it, but you obviously won't be able to. <laughs> I don't think it can hit me, so I'm just going to dash like right in his face. I'm going to kind of bang my sword on the shield and say, "Come at me, monster!" Okay, that's very brave of you. Um, <laughs> okay, that's fine. And with that, it um, definitely reacts to you. <clears throat> um, does. And it kind of just stumbles back and grumbles towards you. <laughs> um, does a 
Um, oh, what's the addition? Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, three. Does an 18 hit? It does not. Although that's okay. very fucking high for a skeleton. Yeah. This, is, this is a zombie. So it's, oh, it's, okay. it, it grumbles to, towards you and it's actually gnashing its teeth at you trying like you almost like you buff it up against with your shield just mm. like to beat it back and it's just like chomping like <laughs> at, at you to... oh god okay uh and with that uh elias also joins you side by side he can't attack this turn um and then we're back up to guile <laughs> <clears throat> uh-huh. Not much this turn. I'm going to run as far as I can down the street towards Smith's Alley. Smith's Alley, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's making no effort to be quiet at this point until he yeah. goes in. That's fair. Uh, that'll be your turn to getting over there. Um, yeah. We're now back up to Terry Gertha. So you can see this red zombie down here as well as where Krusk and Elias went with this blue one. Yeah, I'm... Um... I'm going for this red one, so I'm going to uh, run at it and try to plant my dagger in its head, I think. Yeah, yeah, you, you can just about get there. Why not? Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's like 20-something, I'm assuming that's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm math. It's AC's 8, so... <clears throat> high math, high math. Oh, and that is a 4 plus 4, so that's 8. Uh huh. And I'm going to spend a key point to do uh, two unarmored strikes after mm-hmm. that. Sorry, mm-hmm. I'm just noting down my key point expenditure. And I'll go for. Uh, yeah, an elbow with my other arm mm-hmm. and then a knee kick. Hold on. I just need to remind myself. Am I still a D4? Yeah. Currently, I think so, yeah. So anyway, that is. So that's ten plus. So that's fourteen. Yep. 70, yeah. And the other one is. Oh. Uh. What is it? Four plus. Oh nine. Just that's still a hit. Enough. Both d fours. So that is six. And that is eight again. Okay. The zombie goes down. And it begins to stir. <laughs> so is it on the floor? But it's, it's on. It's prone. Yes, yeah. so you you knocked it prone. You feel you can you can imagine its life essence begin to escape it, but it collects itself up again while on the floor. I know uh, what I want to do next. Uh, it's now. Okay. So we're back up to no. I'm lying. Down to Nadia. Yeah, Nadia is. Uh, where's everyone else dashed off? So they're all over here at the moment. They're all over here. Um, yeah, I think she is gonna dash off after the two warriors. Mhm. Uh probably. Being like, don't run off like that, and just come running after them. She's like, oh for mm-hmm. fuck's sake, we split the party. <laughs> Find you, we split ages ago. Yeah, yeah but yeah, on. she's gonna run off after um, these two. But I can't act if I come up here, can I? Because I no, it's just outside of taken too long to run up there. Let's go draw yeah. my curtains. <sighs> uh, and then it's Talari, your turn. I mean, they've pretty much got this mm-hmm. for now. I want to check out the cleric's building. The cleric's hut? Yeah. Okay. So... I don't know how much movement that's going to... You'll, you'll get you there. Um, so, um, please roll uh, perception to see... We can't, can't quite get inside. It's essentially a, a glorified hut. Um, so it's currently all boarded up and and stuff. Um, roll perception to see what you can may or may not hear inside. 13. Sounds pretty empty. 
Is that all I can I can all I can do I assume this turn? Mm, you can tr you can have a look inside if you want. Yeah. Or yeah. At least try the door. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I thought you said that was, is the door not boarded then? No. Nah, is it just the windows? Yeah. yeah. I'll um I'll try to open the door sort of carefully. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah. The door door will open. Um. Joe, you please roll stealth if you're trying to do it carefully. Yeah. Oh, better than okay. Eighteen. Nice. So you're able to. Um, fully enough, this door reminds you quite a lot of the clerics like shack that you had in in Tear Town, and um, you're able to like jimmy it and crack it open enough so that um, it generally you know, goes in unaided. Um, you look inside, and it's pretty dark inside, and this place also looks fairly ransacked. Um, as as you imagine most places are. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's still got a very similar layer of beds, and there are a few um, skeletons mm -hmm. laying on the beds, but okay. they're not moving and haven't reacted at all to you opening the door. Right. I mean, what I'm going to do next turn, so you know, don't change it later, um, <laughs> is I want to basically check for supplies, medical supplies. Yeah, um, that's fine. Because I know again because if they if they are the same layout, I don't know mm -hmm. where they keep the medicine, keep the gauze because things like gauze people aren't going to take. Potentially. So, so just <laughs> things like that because they don't tend to go bad either. So just stuff that I can find yep. that will be useful. Um, that's that's, that's absolutely fine. fine. Um, Thoradin, it's your turn. So you're going. Right. You're willing to go further into the bank, or are you waiting for these noises to come to you? Did they react to me by slamming the warhammer and uh, making noise? Not yet. Okay. Um, can I just open the gate or door fully to the mm -hmm. uh, behind the register, mm -hmm. and then just peer peer around as to what it makes. It is. It makes an obscenely eerie. <laughs> as you like on the door <laughs> as as the, as the metal of the, uh, the the door opens and it echoes very creepily across the 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 whole of the um auditorium area um peering deeper in you can see that there are two skeletons and a zombie currently stuck behind a gate currently just like up against the next door Currently looking at you as you're like peering in. What do you mean the next door? So you imagine there's one door to get into the side bit, and then there's another door to actually get into the behind area where like the tellers were. Oh god. So you're in like a like a a side room where they would take people to like to to prove that like their money's been counted for them. I'm guessing the side room point. has absolutely nothing in it. You can investigate if you want. Mm -hmm. For investigation. Uh, yes. Okay. This will be your action. Okay. Uh, eleven. You find nothing. Shit rolls. Uh, can I do anything else? No, that that's your action for this turn. Um, Krusk. It's now your turn to take on the zombie that's currently trying to gnaw your throat. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just swing through it with my mighty sword. Um, I won't divine smite. I think I've only got one left, so I'll just uh, yeah, I'll just swing this guy like normal. Uh, Nineteen raw, so I assume it's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. And I'm using a sword that's just a D8 plus strength. Seven plus four, thirteen. Oh, sorry, my ass was completely wrong there. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Uh, now uh, that um, the zombie will take another bite at you and completely just it can't, can't, get, past, it on my can't, shield. <laughs> can't get past your shield at all. Um, Elias is still somewhat. Um, a, um, wounded by like 
hurting from his wound on his side, and he can't really muster any strength to take another swing. And so he just he steps aside for everyone else. You can see Nadia coming along, so he steps aside if she were to want to take a swing. Um, and then these guys move around. Um, and then it goes back to Guile. So you're running, Guile, you're running towards the uh, Smith's Alley. Um, yep. <clears throat> so as you are um, going towards it, um, this place, used as many Smith's Alleys were, used to be full of noises of hammering and and metal banging against metal and it's very strange for it to be completely silent i mean even at night time you would sometimes walk through and there'd be at least one smith working on something so to to see it completely dead of of nothing and out of no warmth as all the forges that used to be on are now long cold yeah um what are you aiming looking for down here Guy was looking for gold, effectively, lock boxes, <laughs> um, like anything that might not have been cracked into already, because presumably the people who raided or escaped with whatever they had mm-hmm. were in a hurry because of the undead, maybe. Um, so he's he's hoping to find something that no one else has cracked yet, so he okay. can spend a few minutes trying to have a proper go at it. So That's I fine. guess it'd be the the least ransacked looking smithy. Or Roll a couple, right? uh, perception just to see what you can identify what you're looking for. Uh huh. That is fifteen. Yeah, there's 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 a there's a, there's, a, there's two or th- there's about two potential smithies at this end of Smith's Alley that you could take a chance at. Mm-hmm. So I'll spend my turn taking a shot at one of those. Yeah, so roll investigation and let's see if you can. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's unnatural twenty. This one, you find um, a very ornate dagger. Okay. Ooh. Hidden at the very um, very back of the smith shop. Okay. Um, can I tell what it's made of? Does it seem like magical or just valuable? It's. You could probably guess it's somewhat valuable. Okay. Um, to to what it is really worth at the moment, you probably need someone else to appraise it potentially. Yep. So on a dagger. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Tugasa, so it's uh, yep. your turn. Okay. Is he still prone on the ground? Yes. Does that mean my next hit is a critical? <laughs> uh, advantage. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take my special dagger. Trick. And attempt to stab him in the head. Okay, so very glad that was a attempt. To, attempt to stab. That is. Uh, so that's well, fifteen. So. Yeah. So. so the, you, with you, my special this, dagger. Yes, this is very clearly the <laughs> the killing blow, and what happens with this is the. Um, the zombie effectively is sucked into the gem of the dagger. Oh my nice. god! Imagine um, in Jumanji, the, first, the original Jumanji film, imagine oh, right, the Rowan Atkinson's character getting sucked in to <laughs> the, the center of, of the game. Mm. You see this zombie form just get completely sucked into the gem, and it gives off a faint glow. <clears throat> Do we but all see fades. this, by the way? No, I'm I'm on the other side of some building. Oh, okay. no, she's oh, okay. the other side of a building. You evil bastard. Terry is deliberately <laughs> hiding from the fact that she uh, hiding from us the fact she has a dagger soldering. Can I also use my um my touch of death? So when I reduce a creature within five feet of me to zero HP, I gain a temporary uh, hit points equal to Do wisdom plus one. Or... Okay, I'll I'll leave it to the dagger. Definitely leave it to the dagger. And um, she'll just whisper to herself, my first bid for power. <laughs> and then run on. Okay. She will uh, I don't, uh, carry on because I'm just going to figure out how far she can run. So, yeah, so um, Nadia, it's your turn. So you've got this zombie here, a very clear shot. Um, you have advantage on this attack if you wish to make it. 
That's because um, the zombie's clearly preoccupied with Krusk. Louise? Sorry, my mic's muted and my dice has gone walkabout. Uh, right. Good job I've got advantage. I've just rolled a two. <laughs> hey, I've rolled a 20. Not 20. Remind me how, oh, yes, perfect. remind me how crits work. So you roll double the damage. Oh, what? So I roll my dice twice? Yeah. Yes, and then add your proficiency, add the, all, the plus at the end. Once. Okay, so if I'm using my battle axe two-handed, I get 2d10, don't I? Yes. Fucking hey, right. So that means I get 4d10. Have I even got 4d10? Yes, I do. Wow. Loads of this dice. That's zombie. 8, 10. What's that? That's a 9, 19, 27, plus my strength, which is 5. That's... 32 points of slashing slashing damage. Nice. Why is it 4d10? No, I think it's just 2d10, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, it's 1d10 originally, and then it's 2d10. Oh, I must have it written ra- written down wrong. I had it written down as one, 2d10. What are you, uh, what are you using? So that would be OP if it was. It's a warhammer. It's a two-handed battle axe. Battle I've obviously axe. written it down wrong. I'll roll my yeah, dice again. Shoot. Hang on. I was battle thinking axe. that was a bit good. <laughs> yeah, no, battle axe right, is 1d10 versus... Yeah, it's too good to oh, I true. must have buggered that up then, right. Uh, that's not such a ridiculous roll. 16. That's still 21 points of slashing damage, though. Yeah, that... that thir- so how do you want to kill it? Because this will thoroughly end its life. Um, oh. Nadia is very much going for the head... Mm-hmm. Uh, um, at this point, she doesn't want any of these getting up to stab her in the back. Mm-hmm. Should have gone for the head. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, she's gonna dash up uh, beside Krusk, and pretty much without stopping, lift the battle axe over her head, two-handed, and bring it down. Crunch. And probably overstep by a good two or three paces as this thing just folds up and there's no resistance. Oh, yeah, completely. Um, You barely lose stride as you just missed this um, this zombie into into two, thoroughly ending it any chance of of getting back up. Um... Unusually for her, she doesn't look particularly, like, pleased about this combat. Mm-hmm. She's uh, yeah. She doesn't look particularly pleased about this combat. Interesting. So we go. She's back more to... determined than anything else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we we head to Talari, who's in uh, the cleric's yep. cleric shack. So, um, yeah. so yeah, so roll an investigation to see what um things you can find. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. No. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, you're able to find and, and scrounge together enough equipment for about another three healing kits. Sweet. I think that's the effectively the thing you're looking for. Basically, yeah. Is, is the, is the healing, healing equivalent. Or healing potions, I suppose, if they have any, but I doubt it. No, they, you could definitely see where they were, and they've thoroughly okay. been... Either either smashed, you can see the glass on the floor, or just mm. taken. Um, fortunately, as you walk through, the the skeletons that were there are fully dead. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> they, they they don't they don't move or or move to prevent you from doing so. Um, Once I've got those, then I'll walk out. That's absolutely fine. I'll probably rejoin um, the others. I mean, I don't know how much is. I'm guessing just doing all of that. All my movement and yeah, time. so you better go back into the square. Oh, okay, cool. Essentially, um, so Thorin, you've got a decision to make. In, <laughs> in there. Do you decide to try and open this door with the two skeletons and a zombie behind, or Thorin's already bored? He, this is too much effort for him. He, <laughs> just for a bit of gold. He can, he can tell this place has been 
Um, like, it'll, fight, it'll fuck enjoy it, but, like, looking around the banks, too much effort. <laughs> yeah, but he, he, he knew there was a lot of gold involved here. He doesn't know what's behind that door. Yeah, so he's going to leave. It's too could risky. It could be, but he can't do it by himself. That's fair. So, so, could be like a lich behind. <laughs> I'm going to back out of the bank and go to the alchemist's next door. So <laughs> as you're coming out, you will see this uh, pink zombie going coming through this... Um, this like this gateway here, and Talari, you will also see it as you're in the square. This pink okay. skeleton here. Cool. Oh, okay, if he's coming up, then uh, go smash his skull. In. I'll um when I see yeah. it, I'll say to sort of to the others. Right, we got another one. We got a skeleton over here as well. Uh, Where, Nadia will. Uh, how loud are you being on this? I mean, I want it probably fairly loud because I'll be trying to talk to them I guess yeah that's that's fair it just needs to be yeah 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 uh, okay that's fine so um so Nadia Krusk and Elias all here uh, Talari saying there's another skeleton over here okay Krusk will just shout onwards comrades um okay um okay. Elias uh, yeah I'm just gonna travel to this dude uh so, yeah, so you, you get a fair way, but not all the whole way across the square as you came out of the bank. Um, Krusk, you are next, so... Uh, I mean, that pink guy is pretty far from me. Mm -hmm. but, uh... I mean, you don't even know he's... You, you know there's an over here, but... Not necessarily <laughs> where there. Where here. Dash, um... with all haste. <laughs> yeah, I'm sprinting around quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'll dash over... Uh, I don't know how far I can get. I guess what I would do is I'd head to to Lari first, mm -hmm. and then I'd like kind of head over to like where she's pointing or whatever. So however far I can get with that, if I'm dashing. Yeah. So you get mid most way across the the square. Mm -hmm. Elias will just try and do the same. He he's not as um, able to at this moment in time. So he casts cure wounds on himself okay. and heals himself up, up a bit. Um, uh, and then it's back up to Guile. So, Guile, you um, you have another Smith Smithy to yep. investigate. Is that investigation again, then? Yes, please. Fourteen. So, um, in this one, um, you do find um, a safe. Mm -hmm. um, you could tell somebody's tried to put an axe in inside it through a heavy right. dent on the top. Um, lock intact. That'll, that'll you need to investigate the. Okay, the, would that be my next lock. turn? You can you can investigate. You, so you can either try and unlock it or. Right, um, I think I'd like to inspect the lock first. Okay, so um, roll investigation again and see what you can. Well, that's only an eight. Um. You're not quite certain if the if the hit has jarred it loose or if it was open and then closed. Um, it's pretty unclear. I mean, you could definitely give it a go if you wished. But, um, mm. So I can't tell if it's been raided already, basically? Yeah. You okay. can't quite tell if the, if the hit would have popped open and yeah. they just yeah. closed yeah. it or not. Um, Fair enough. Um, not likely they'd slam it shut afterwards, but so I will try and pick the lock. Tips, that'll be your next turn. Yeah. Um, uh, Terry Gertha, it's your turn. Uh, so, I believe with my movement of 50 plus my ring of 8, I can make it to about here-ish? Yeah, that's about fair. So, that's with my dash, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to dash up to here. <clears throat> Going, going after what I believe is the is the skeleton after my peripheral view because I knew there was one around here. Yeah, so you, you saw a few around here, and then go down to Nadia. You're you're free to to move where you wish. Yep, yeah, she. Absolutely. Um, let's see. There's one more. We can't see any more around. Uh, she's going to ask Elias if he's all right. Yeah. I think... 
just been a bit of running around. <laughs> you don't <laughs> look a... alright. He, he does look fairly pale, and he's just. You, he, you saw him like <clears throat> cast some magical words on his on his side. He says, "I'll, I'll be fine. Just a bit of a bit of rest, maybe after all this is said and done." Um, she is gonna sort of go over here so she can see where the danger is. She's going to say to Talari, uh, like as she goes past, make sure he doesn't fall over and point uh, Elias. I'll keep an eye on him. From your angle, Nadia, you do yeah. see the blue skeleton up there as well as you're looking at Talari. Oh, right. Does it look like it's making inroads on us? Well, it's certainly moving around, so... In that case, she's going to keep an eye out for that one. Krusk is keeping an eye on this one here. Mm -hmm. um, she'll yeah, keep an eye on that I'm just one. She's going to charge the pink one, basically. Of course she is. <sighs> so, Talari, it's your turn. How um, injured does he look? Does he is he bloodied? Uh -huh. Did he get those cues? He's still bloodied. Right, I will go to heal him then. Might as well. Okay. Uh, cure wounds. One d eight. Where's my d eight? Yep. Uh, not as good. Six. Is that total? Do you add anything else to that? Six total. I, okay. I rolled a two. That. Okay. Um, so yep, he's now uh, just wounded. <laughs> ah, uh, the, the wounded side is, is is certainly looking better, but um, I think the the best thing he needs is rest. Is was pretty much the uh, the doctor's orders. Mm. Um, so now we head to uh, Thoradin. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're the closest to the, the pink skeleton number. Okay. Um. So I've got enough in my turn to go to him and then attack. Yep. Yeah. You got plenty yes. for that. Okay. I'm gonna go smash his skull. In. All right. <clears throat> what are we adding? Got a. I've got a DM question. Hello. That's me. So this is very specific to um, sorceress, but the meta magic empowered spell makes le allows me to spend a sorcery point to re-roll a number of the of my damage die for a spell. Mm -hmm. But obviously, when yeah. it, that was written, divine soul wasn't a thing. So well, I'm wondering if the I healing can use... spells, healing spell die still count as damage dice. Do they? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I can use that then for my healing spells. If you wished, yeah. Cool. Right. Something for the future. Yeah, because they still were there. It was still that for clerics and shit and stuff. Yeah, cool. I'm just going to put it in my notes. Yep. Um, so what was the hit? I got 18. I'm um, minus in 5 and adding 10. So then I got yep. 19 damage. 19 damage on the pink skeleton. How much minus total, sorry? 5 and adding 10. 19. 19. Ooh, that's with your Warhammer. Is that your Warhammer, though? Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the feet as well. I forget what. Great, yeah, great, great weapon, weapon master. master, yeah. Oh, so, you've, you can kill it. What's, how do you want to Oh, sweet. Um, it has to be one fluid attack. I'm just going to knock... It's a skeleton, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Can I just knock his head straight off and it just goes flying in the air? Yeah. So like you smash you, it some more. You can essentially recreate the image in the, the Book of Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that image? Baseball bat. Of, 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 of baseball, yeah. a baseball bat. Nice. Yeah. That's that. exactly it. <laughs> and yeah, the, the, the head That's just excellent. rockets um, out onto the over the city walls to to Sweet. where and to what being hit, discovers it you'll never know, and then just the, the body just collapses into a pile of bones. You'll see over that Terry's head just following the skull. <laughs> I can imagine yeah. us all just doing like a. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Krusk, it's your turn. Um, seeing this this awesome display by 
by Thorin and just go. I actually missed it because uh, I was away from my PC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure well, it was. Good thing Krusk awesome. saw it instead of you. Krusk <laughs> uh, will react suitably, as he would, <laughs> to whatever <laughs> happened. Um, <laughs> and then. Oh, I guess. Gordon one shotted it. Oh, he one shotted it? Oh. Right, Smashed great. his head off. Oh, okay. I guess I've, I've got nothing to do then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as the party knows, are there any skeletons left? So, Nadi is aware of the skeleton up here. She can declare Has if she, she wishes. Has she communicated to the rest of the party? Uh, yeah, she will have said, oh, there's another one behind us. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn. Did I notice Elias being, like, tired earlier? Uh, well, you, you kind of just stormed off with that. But, oh, okay, that's fine. No, worries. You, you, you can look at him and see him now panting a bit. Um, okay, I'll kind of run over and, like clap him on the back and say, come alive, so you must be as uh, <laughs> relentless <laughs> and unyielding as the waves. <laughs> and, oh, uh, God. Then I'll kind of jog off in the direction of the uh, of the blue skeleton. I don't know how far I can get, but I'll just kind of like dash over to it. Yeah, but yeah, you can, you can get our swing on it. Why not? Okay, cool. So I'll run up to it and then I'll swing... The mighty sword of tear. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Eleven raw, so I assume it's a hit. Yeah. Uh, well, that's another question entirely. Ooh, I add, mean, I had my stuff. To add, it. add your stuff because you never okay. know. So, uh, plus four proficiency is two. So seventeen. Yeah, that's a hit. Cool. <laughs> I got worried for a minute. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Skeletons Seven, are a different. Eleven again. Okay. Eleven damage. Yep. Okay. It's very wobbly. Um, and then it's a Eli- it's Elias's turn. Actually no, it's this zombie. No, not a zombie, it's Kellen. Um so it's Elias's turn, he's gonna heal himself a bit up again and he he definitely has a bit more colour to his cheeks. Um, um okay. and then we're back round to Guile. Uh-huh. He's most of the way down Smith's Alley. Yep. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, oh, no, you're, you're, you're at the, um, the the safe. If you want Yeah, to I'm look. in the safe. Yeah, um, so I was going to set an alarm on the door to the place I'm in before attempting to unlock the safe, because it might take me a few tries. Okay, alarm takes a minute to cast, if I believe. Definitely takes longer than a minute to pick a lock, though, right? Well, uh, to use your uh, uh, thieves tool is um, an action. So way shorter. Okay, in that case, no, I won't bother. Um, I will just try and pick this lock then. So that's that's. If I'm proficient in thieves tools, does that add on to so, sleight of hand, or I don't know exactly how it works. It's, um, see, using thieves tools just means that you can. It makes it, it makes the check slightly easier, I believe. Oh, okay. So you, right. you just roll you roll sleight of hand with thieves yeah. tools. Yeah. So proficiency in thieves tools just means I can use them to make exactly check easier. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is an eighteen. Yeah. So you you fiddle around. It's one of those um, twisty ones. Mm. See the code, and it takes a, a little bit of finagling because um uh, the uh, the fact that it's slightly b- uh, bowed. But you are able to to open it. Uh-huh. Um, inside is a bunch of papers. <laughs> Sorry. Inside inside is a, is a is a bunch of 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 papers. Um, oh, um sifting through, you you see it's like the the deed to like the Smith's shop. Okay. And a, a few designs of of a weapon or two, one a long sword, one a. Um, a longbow. Despicable, this is all trash. <laughs> um, <laughs> right for a bit more. Burn it all. <laughs> Burn it all? <laughs> a longbow. <laughs> <laughs> How's Gar going to be able to make it? <laughs> uh, you can sell Nothing it. of value in there then. Well, it depends what you determine worth of value, really. The deed um, to a smith shop in a, in a dead town may not be worth anything. but No, are there any like IOUs? Uh, there's no ledger in there, no. Okay. Hmm. Take my leave then. 
Okay. Just south block. Need a tinkerer. Yeah. Um. So I guess I'll start heading back up the. Back. Yeah. Back towards the way I came towards the sort of central courtyard. Okay. Um. To regather, it's your turn. Okay. Uh. Is uh drawing my weapons is would that be a free action or not? Yeah. Depends okay. on what you're trying to do. I would attempt to uh, get a little bit closer and then fire my bow at the skeleton over here. Distance. That's a heavy... <laughs> you draw definitely with disadvantage. Yeah, no, I think I would, no matter how far I ran. But... Okay. So you, you get to about Thoradin. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh... Short bow. No, hold on, I'm, I've got a long bow. Oh, I get 120 bow. feet, yeah. don't I? That's fine. Is that fine? Which one? I think so. <laughs> okay. Give it a go. Although I suppose you could give it half cover because of Krusk's big metal arse. <laughs> wow. He's actually quite sensitive. That is right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's his armour that's got more to do with it in this case. That's fine. Yeah, I know. But Major, that's... He's, he's really insecure about his arse. <laughs> <laughs> I wear three chairs again. <laughs> anyway, yeah, hold on. I'll I'm sure that. it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> All your pity guys are out. I've already heard. <laughs> that is uh, 21. That's a hit. And a hit does it. Skeleton. How do you want to have what you're aiming for? Oh, skeleton. Uh, the head, I want the arrow to go through the eye and just take it off the spine and hit it in the furthest wall behind it. It doesn't quite get the, the, the far wall, but it's... Okay, the ground, the then, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's, it certainly can do that. Um, Stick into the ground behind it, that would be fun. Yeah, so you... Uh, so that ends combat as it stands. Um... So you've, you've cleared the, the city of the dead that are, you know of are uh, outside. Oh, um, that was fun. Cross uh, is gonna like clap his hands together and just be like, focus, eyes shut, and uh, I'll use my divine sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you want me to read out what it picks up? Undead is one. So undead uh, fiends. Yeah, aberrations, like stuff, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Can you and, tell the anything? difference? Um, or just that there's a presence? I can tell the difference, but I can't... Hey, let me read it. So I know the type, but not its identity. And I know, like, where, kind of, like, roughly it is. Yeah. Um, 30 feet. 60 feet. 60 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there's definitely stuff around. I mean, of course. <laughs> Then, I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, pretty pretty much any of these houses you see, there's at least something in there. Okay. The uh, fact that they're all trapped behind doors could be good or bad. Okay. I mean, this is a city that was full of people. And do I sense any desecrated grounds? Well, the church is obviously desecrated now. No. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. So uh, I'll go back to group and I'll say, comrades, we, our, our, our task is not complete. I, I can smell the undead on the air. A, a dread scent, uh, stench. Uh, but this guy, are you heading back to the um, middle of the, the city? Yeah, I mean, reasonably, I want to check out the Odyssey shop, so I'd be heading towards the rest of the gang anyway. So, yeah, so I'll put you with the group so that you yep. at least everyone can at least talk freely to each other. Um, yep. mm -hmm. Kyle, where the fuck have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> been killing undead. It's a good question. Where oh. have you been? Well, there was a zombie, there was another zombie, and then there was a skeleton. Uh, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, sounds about right. 
I don't know, find anything in your travels, Gail? Just more undead, I'm afraid. Fair enough. So, uh, are we done here? Or? Dead, says Nadia, looking horrendously uncomfortable. Oh, did any of you find the source of any of this on your travels? Well, the church is desecrated, Matt. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> In character, the church, uh, the church has been desecrated. Perhaps the source of the evil is there. Is that a good, good place to start? Indeed. I suppose. It's foul creatures. No, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be harsh. They're restless <laughs> souls. We, we must, we must help them. Send yes. them on their way. Put them to rest. Makes sense. Uh, Jim. Hello. Nadia, now that the zombies have stopped being zombies mm -hmm. and started being dead bodies again, mm -hmm. I want to have a look at whatever the ones are nearest. Okay. For damage done before they died the first time, this may be uh, a little bit difficult given that she has been fairly enthusiastic about re-killing some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but she wants, she's trying to work out how they died the first time. Okay. So roll an investigation to see how you can see the... Okay. So, you've, so the clear, no close one, you've got a skeleton and a zombie. And then the skeleton in the square that you can take a look okay. at. Okay. Yeah, you know, she'll go and have a look around. Where the heck's my D20 gone? That is a 13. Okay. So, it's a lot easier to see this on the on the zombie because it still has flesh. Yeah. Um, on the skeleton, it's a lot harder to determine because what, what might have shown a puncture wound isn't there anymore. Um, uh, so, on the zombie, um, this one in particular died by a cleave of like a sword of some kind down like its um, shoulder down towards its chest right um, as a civilian it it hasn't got the same hardiness as a warrior of training so it pretty much all it took was a one one swipe mm -hmm. with a, a very sharp sword um, the skeleton is a lot harder to do this with because of the the way that the undead re kind of remolds itself back after death, but you certainly see um, its ribs were once shattered, and then magically just came back together again through the undead um, rising procedure. Um, so you imagine it could have taken an arrow or something potentially through that for its side. Um, mm -hmm. It's, it's they all seem to have of... died violent deaths. Yes, definitely. You can definitely assume and gather that from your investigation. I think we should uh, head to the church and investigate this further. See if we can put an end to the... help these poor souls. As we walk over, I'm going to nudge Guile and like whisper him over. <laughs> Yeah, like Nadia's stopped to investigate the uh, now dead again bodies and is going to say, These were all killed by warriors. This one's been shot with an arrow. This one's got a. Perhaps the townspeople turned on each other as they started to transform. Mm. Can I head over to the I church? Mean, you were, I mean, DM point, but mm -hmm. you were here, Krusk, so. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean you'd, you'd know some of of this. So, I mean, turning on each other, you know that that didn't happen. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, while we're walking to the church, I think I'm going to nudge Krusk. By the way, Krusk, I don't think you're going to the church. I think you're going somewhere else. We're going to City Hall. On the way, I'll um, nudge Krusk and say, "Well, you know how you say you come from um, the uh, uh, lives, uh, you know, the place we're going to." Did you pass by here? Was it like this when you came through? No, no, it was a, it was a happy town, happy place. <laughs> and uh, I lived here for some time, actually. Being back here brings back uh, old memories. Kind of looks around. <laughs> if you would 
would they would they do as naughty as this? Would they would they kill each other in such no, a way? No, 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 oh, God no, Tier no. <laughs> 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 these, these, these were a peaceful people, you know, happy people. I, some great evil must have befallen them, and uh, we must set set right whatever has gone wrong here, whatever has plagued this land with corruption. I agree. I believe someone else has done this. Someone mm -hmm. on the outside. I do not trust Elias. It seemed too convenient for him to only just be dying as we arrived. He's he's given us no reason to doubt him, unless you have noticed something. Mm, I have not noticed anything, but does something seem odd to you about him? Matt, what, what did I see exactly last time you played when he went for the <laughs> It's like he, to me, it looked like he deliberately missed or something. No, so he, he had naturally missed. Okay. It's very different to deliberately missing. I will... Both you and he look very confused at the fact that he missed his sword strike. All right, I'll, mm, okay. All right, I'll say to Turi, um, perhaps, uh, perhaps I should not mention this because, you know, I don't want to cast aspersions on his character, but... <laughs> There was a, a moment where he swung for one of the for one of the undead, and his sword, you know, his 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 aim was true, and yet his strike missed. And uh, to his credit, he did look confused, but something did not add up. Uh, something seemed amiss. I only ask because, of course, I trust everyone with the brand, we have a similar goal. He has turned up out of nowhere. I see no reason to trust him any further than we could throw him, so to speak. <laughs> well, he did aid us against the undead, and he, he fought bravely despite his injuries. Perhaps uh, we should keep an eye on him? And I have known many to uh, play along to aid you until they twist, just simply stab you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... And into the church. Before okay. we go into church, let me check something quickly. <laughs> okay, while you're doing that, we'll go to Guile and, and, and Thoradin talking to the one mm -hmm. side. Sweet. I'm going to go to Guile and say, did you, did you get any loot? Did you find anything interesting? Just, just a shitty posh dagger. You? Two skeletons and a zombie in the back. In the back of the bank. You think they're loaded? I don't know. They get they could be packing some serious gold in their pockets. You never know. Well, there could mm. be something something good in the back of the bank. I don't know. I didn't want to go by myself. Yeah, okay. three on one. Okay, we'll put it on the to-do list. <laughs> um, what about the Odyssey shop? We're right by, it, aren't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Screw the church, I don't care what happens to these people. Should we go in? Yeah. <laughs> okay, before before we go into the church, I'm going to turn to Elias. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say to him, how, how, how are your injuries, Elias? Are you, are you feeling better? I'm, I'm getting there, I'm for sure. I, mm. I, I need some good sleep, really. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just deciding if I'm doing this. Um, no, you know what? No, I think I think he's right. Poor guy. I think we're down here. <laughs> I was so suspicious of the rhyming guy, and he turned out to be right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just clap him on the back and say, oh, "Excellent, excellent comrade." Um, he he wins it. <laughs> on that clap on the back, but he takes it. Um, I'm glad to have you by my side, Lois. What I want to know mm -hmm. is why, if somebody came in here with violent intent, they simply slaughtered everybody and left them. Perhaps they never left. <laughs> Perhaps they never cared what happened to the bodies. Perhaps well, the bodies were for somebody else. Why? Well, what reason? I don't know about you. But this doesn't seem like a natural occurrence of the dead. If you do not bury your dead, they rise again. If you do not burn them or inter them properly, they rise again. That's just what happens. 
They, mm -hmm. could, they could have just simply been bandits. I mean, look at those two over there. They were clearly are scheming something. <laughs> <laughs> no, my point is that if you've got a grievance with somebody, you don't slaughter a town of a thousand people. Perhaps it was a grievance against Lyra herself. This is foul work. The devil Maybe. with human skin did this. If you... I would suspect the slavers, but they wouldn't kill everybody because that's not what they want. They want living people. Chris is going to click slightly at the word slavers. <laughs> Crusk, you said you, you, you've been here before. Don't suppose this place held any magical weapons or armor or items or anything like that? Like maybe as a city treasure or something? Uh, no, I assume no. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, fuck, I keep forgetting things. <laughs> like, like, dude, the whole reason why you're actually here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Way ahead, ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea. I've got a thought. Ask so badly. Basically, what my thought is, we've just been told about this weapon okay. being corrupted and Tiamat's followers almost obsessively trying to get these items or these equip this equipment. If this place had one, I'm pretty sure an evil dragon goddess or whatever the hell it is is going to ransack a town. They're not going to give a shit. Sorry, well, I think it's time that I, I tell all. Uh, there, there are aspects about my about my past that I have not shared with you all. But it seems now it is relevant and this is part of the true reason that I wanted to come this way. Um, You're getting a serious raised eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's all cross. Uh, it's very cross. Go on, they won't as, mind. As you, as you all know, when I was in Tear Town, I was, I was investigating um, a cult, uh, a perversion of Tears, an, off, an offshoot, a rotten <laughs> stem <laughs> that needs to be cut off. <laughs> get, to the, get to the point, Cross. Get to the point. <laughs> Terry just nods. Um, when I was younger, uh, I didn't, I didn't just pass through this town. I actually lived here. For, 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 for a time and when I one day when I was out and I returned this town had been raided um, by a group of bandits at least at first I thought they were bandits but um, when I investigated closer I, just, I determined that they're actually from this evil darkness <laughs> this cult oh god oh god <laughs> What's happened here? And this could be the lead. This could be, this could lead me to them and help me perhaps decide, you know, to, uh, find out what they've been doing. Why would, so, such, why would such a cult be interested in play, like uh, Lyra Heights? I don't know. I don't know. I was investigating them in Tear Town. Uh, as you know, they're recognizable by the, the symbol. Um, uh, it's, it's the skull, isn't it? And the scales rather than. The sort the dagger on on the, at the on the pommel of the scales. So that is that is their mark, and they often leave it in church. A good chance that whatever was going on it originated from this church, or at least you might be able to find some clues in this in this church. This cult you were hunting killed an entire town. Seems a little bit extreme. Mm. Yeah. There. You came back and found everybody dead. Oh, that's pretty much what happened, isn't it? I came back. Everyone. The city had... was on fire. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I I came back, and the city had been ransacked. It was burning. Uh, it must have been their work. Who else? Can you show me where you found the symbol? Yeah. If the attack. If the attack. Not that I want to cast doubt on what you're saying, but if the attackers had left, how did you know who they were? I found their symbol uh, in the in the church. Can I show them that where I found it? Well, there was no symbol in oh. this church. So, you, so you had tracked down the bandits themselves, okay. and 
beat some of them up and they told you that they were hired by the death cult. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, so I'll rewind that. So, so, <laughs> I, I tracked some of them down and I uh, persuaded them to speak to me about who, who, who they were working for. You get another raised eyebrow up persuaded. <laughs> All they, to, all, they, all they had told you was that they were hired by a man who had that symbol. Okay, so yeah, I'll relay that. So I'll say that's why I, when I was at Tear Town, I was I was looking out for that symbol. But it may it may yet be here. You know, perhaps they perhaps they were based here, or perhaps they had a some kind of base here like they, they did in Tear Town. Uh, I no, do not strange. think they would burn the the base to the ground. It seems a bit counterintuitive who can understand the mind of of such evil creatures well, even evil they're, they're even evil has a, evil has a purpose no it has evil to be a purpose but evil is chaos it on it it's it's a darkness <laughs> <laughs> it's a blight <laughs> at this point i'm just gonna go into the church <laughs> yes Terry, i like your enthusiasm <laughs> we will read out the evil <laughs> who's going into the church i'll, go yeah, I'll well. be going as well Nadia? Um, yeah. Nadia will. She is still highly unsettled at the idea that this town is full of undead, though. So she's mm-hmm. moving carefully and, like, checking that she's not being crept up on. Mm-hmm. She probably won't go too far in. Like, she'll stay by the door, basically, so that she can still see what's going on outside. Yep, that's that's fair. Um, Garland Thoradin, what are you guys doing? Checking out the shop. Yeah, the shop. <laughs> you want to go into the oddity shop. Mm-hmm. Um, peering inside, this place has been ransacked, just like most other places. Um, you can you can certainly investigate around if you wished. Should we go in? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in. Is there anyone else in there? Yeah, we're heading. So no, there's there's. There's nobody, no, no, no one dead inside, and uh, you can see. Um, this used to be a place of the thieves' guilds, um, or thieves' cult. So um, you can definitely um, investigate the, the headquarters underneath. Yeah, I think we'll check out the shop first, and then head for the headquarters. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, you can either both roll separate investigation checks, or one of you can roll with advantage. It's up to you guys, really. I'm all right at it. Yeah, I should do separate. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. Ten. Fifteen. So, yeah. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this place has been pretty much cleared or broke or anything that was broken essentially um most most stuff in an auntie shop is useless or, or useless anyway um to some extent um but there's nothing really of value in in this area that you can you can discover right okay in that case we'll probably head on to the well i go would at least head on to the 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 guild hideout into yeah. the hatch and did yeah, it. Yeah, head down. <clears throat> okay. That's fine. So, can everybody entering the church roll a wisdom saving throw? Oh, oh fuck. How interesting. Okay. Oh, I'm okay at least. Sort of. Unnatural 20. Okay. 13. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got in that one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good for Good timing. I, if I turn on you or something equally evil, I apologise. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so thrown back in your face when you ever argue about the sword. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe it's a good thing, guys. That I feel. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Oh shit! I can't hear anybody. We can hear you, Louise. Can't. We can yeah. hear you. Although she can't hear us, that doesn't help. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help. <laughs> Guys, I can't hear anybody. <laughs> uh. 
Give me five, I'll be right back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Curious to what this is gonna be. <laughs> I'm, I've got advantage. I've got advantage. Uh -huh. on, I've got advantage on saving against being charmed. If that's got anything to. Yeah. Does Krusk have the thing to stop mind control yet? Is this a paladin thing? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have any fearing down, which looks helpful. Mm. No, oh dear, Gio yeah, was pulling a gleeful face. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, so what did you roll on the wisdom saving throw? I rolled a fifteen. Okay. So looking forward to the net one. <laughs> yeah, of all the places to get a nat one, it isn't the. Uh... I don't normally roll nat ones as well, so this is quite awkward. Need that lucky. You've got a one in twenty chance. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm used to having lucky as well. Can't mm. <laughs> need Arthur for this bit. So, um, well, Arthur, so why? Yeah, I need Arthur chat. for this bit. Um, so we'll go back to um, Garl and Thoradin going down under the the um, the thieves' cult. Um, so you go inside and. You can immediately tell going in that this place had been discovered in in the ransacking of the um, the city. Interesting. Um, yeah. There are corpses littering the um, the the room, the the main like common room area inside. Um, there is a lot. There's a there's like broken glass, mirrors, furniture all over the place. The, a very uh, heavy battle was fought in here where the thieves fought tooth and nail to try and survive against whatever fought against them. And the, the uh, opponents took a heavy loss themselves going in. Because as you can imagine, it's, it's pretty narrow. So they were pretty much funneling themselves into a a tough spot to um, to get into. So, so it doesn't look like people escape through here. Well, you know that there is a like a rear escape from like the like using like the sewers into out out to out of the city. Yeah. So you can definitely um, investigate and and try and follow that through if you wished. How do you normally get down there? Is it by lock and key or a hidden wall? So you've got the hatch underneath the oddity shop. So there's a hatch. Okay. So so you go down the hatch, you go down a set of stairs to like almost at like the cellar of the the oddity shop. You've got a big common room area with a couple of side rooms and a, a living couple of living areas for um like for people to to, like to survive. There's um to the, like deeper in there's like um the, 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 like a wall that will open up to the the sewer way and stuff. That's so you would have had to have known it existed to get down there. Or would it yes. be well, by the common eye? You, it's definitely um, not something that you'd naturally be aware of. So either someone knew about it, or yeah. potentially during the, the fighting, someone came out and spotted them when they were ransacking the oddity shop. Potentially, um, it, it's not a, it's not, it's not something that everyone knows about for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's worth have, checking. You guys if wouldn't this have heard is... Krusk's thing either. Because you're in the thing at the time. No, we don't know. Nah. I think it's worth um, checking if there's a survival route out of the city. Still. Sure, it'll be fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, there's uh, nothing else around there. No. So, um, so, so um, you'll head off into deeper into the um, the sewers, trying to find what's what happened down there. So the rest of you guys, we rolled your wisdom saving through. So Arthur, um, we mm -hmm. we we paused for the meanwhile while you got back. So you Thank can you. Hear. So the the moment the four of you enter the church, um, you enter this almost dream state, um, and you can um, it's almost like a, uh, you're you're in a memory of some kind of of what happened. Is this all of us? Sorry, it's all of you, all of you that entered the church. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So. The perspective you imagine this from is from a a rather tall person. the The arms are fairly covered, but you the hands are are green, and it's fairly tall. Um, the in one hand they have a long sword, and in their left they have a shield of a diamond 
like the, a typical diamond shape. Mm. Um, and they're walking along. They have a very, um, fairly gruff voice, and they're 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 murmuring and talking to each other about quiet boys. Let's get on this. <laughs> and um, you see uh, a, f- a, f- a bunch of um, bandits, uh, probably about 100, 200 strong, um, climb the city wall at the dead of night. And in this um, scene, you see this half orc character that you can imagine uh-huh. running through mm. and cutting down guards, um, civilians, and all sorts of, of people in in the city, setting fire to, to some of the buildings and and cutting people and generally slaughtering all in existence. Um, in the revelry and joy, that he is very happy and and um, loving and very enjoying his his um, his his fighting while cutting everyone down, laughing and enjoy and everyone else around and all the bandits are taking great pleasure in in this act. Um, it's very fairly gruesome, as you imagine. You hear the screams of, of children and and men and women all dying in the streets and in their in their beds. Um, eventually, um, after most of the the city falls quiet, burning in the background, um, you see the um, the half orc lead some of these bandits into the oddity shop. And open the hatch and say they're down here, and just send wave after wave of bandits out in there. There's lots of fighting and crashing and everything you can hear. And as this half walk travels down the stairs, you catch a glimpse of him in the mirror, and you all see Krusk's face <laughs> in the mirror. Ooh. The shield he's 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 brandishing is. Um, of the death cult symbol. Dude. Nadia and Talari, you both succeeded the saving throw, and so the face of the half orc dissipates, and it is not actually Krusk's face. <laughs> oh no! Oh, God. <laughs> Krusk and what? Terry Gertha. So it's just a, a general. Normal it's half orc. Somebody else. It's just a, some other person, not actually. No, exactly. not me. No. Oh god. So, <laughs> so Terry Gertha. So Terry Gertha and and Kresge failed, <sighs> and Elias, you don't really know. Um, Krusk, as you and and the dream state ends, as the horror of you imagining this. In your in your dream, you actually look at your shield. So you, you take it off your arm, you look at your shield, and you notice something wrong with your shield. <laughs> and actually, underneath the very pommel bit of the shield, lifts up, and is the death cult underneath. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Oh my fuck! <laughs> He's gone crazy. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Like, I think you I don't even, I don't even just know go down to his knees. What's he gonna do? What's he I'm... gonna do? This is the best shit. Oh god! I don't even. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I need a moment to like process what I've done. <laughs> Does Turi also see the shield? Just kind of. Yes, yeah, so you all see. So we this all is, see is the death cult thing on his shield. On his shield, underneath the actual symbol. Well, that makes it even more confusing. Wait a minute, do, do, do we all see that? Yes, yeah, so his shield actually is that, though. Okay, so Krusk is gonna... <sighs> Holy fuck! The shield is <laughs> of this city. Alright, so tears are, like, streaming down his face. Like, he's fully convinced that, like, it's it's him he's seen. And he's, he's just gonna kind of, like, whisper to himself, like, I... I, I I did this? I I did this to these people? How, how could I not remember such a thing? Um, you would remember such a thing. It was me! We all saw it. It was me in that vision. It and wasn't you. He's gonna look down at his shield and then just, like, tear it off and, like, throw it, like, on the ground, like, as far away from him as possible and say, I've been 
bearing this the smog all this top I'm a fraud. What? <laughs> um, it wasn't you? Yeah, Terry's gonna run and like grab him by the shoulders and look at him and say, "Krask, whatever that was, whatever you might have been, if that was you, <laughs> it is in the past. You do not have to listen to it. Your past is not what makes you who you are." Krask is just gonna stare like blankly and say, "My my life is a lie. I." I thought I was a good pioneer, but I'm not. I'm just another monster. I'm a monster like the ones I hunted. Crust, um, crust, is listen. he kneeling on the floor? Yeah, he'd pretty much like sink to it, like his knees, I think, at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nadia's going to put her foot up, oh, brace it against his shoulder, and kick him over. <laughs> <laughs> not nice. viciously. She's basically just going to shove him. Is he going to resist? No, he'll just go down. <laughs> At this point. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no resistance in him. I'll say, I look at Nadi and say, I understand your anger. I, I deserve more. I deserve it worse. It wasn't you. I, we saw it. We all saw it. Look at my shield. We there saw, is going to go get the shield. We, we saw it, but I don't know it what you saw. You. That face that appeared in that mirror wasn't you. It was you originally, and then it dissolved and turned into no, somebody else. I'm pretty sure it was him. I saw it very clearly. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe because I'm more magically inclined. Maybe it didn't. Whatever this trickery is, maybe didn't have much of a hold on me. How? Oh, well, I've taken too many blows to the head to be fooled. Well, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so is that again? She's grinning. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, you've said it. You, you said it yourself, Crusk. This is concentrate, concentrated. Desecrated. <laughs> it's desecrated ground, and we instantly walk in, and we're suddenly met with an illusion. What makes you think this illusion is is even real? Need to grab that shield. <laughs> yeah, I I would have a like. Well, I threw it far away, but yeah, I'm gonna walk gonna go over to wherever anything. that shield is. I pick it up. Again. Um, she's gonna trace, like, feel the symbol, because mm -hmm. it's etched, right? Or is it like? So yeah. So, um, if you imagine the the original symbol has the um, the balance of of the yeah, yeah, scales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And essentially, the that bit lift it can lift lift it off, and underneath was a dagger. <sighs> And when she feels it, it's real. It's definitely oh, yeah. there. Okay. Hundred percent there. Okay. This shield? this shield was made for, at least for Crux's Krus knowledge, this shield was made for the the priests here. Oh my it's fuck! Got, it's got this shield from here, from this city. You get it. Where did you acquire that shield from, Krusk? Did Do you know where you got it from? Because you could have just got it from one of the guys who died in this raid. You said you lived here. Who actually gave it to me, Matt? I just assumed I just like took it. I think I took it, didn't I? After the um, after the town was like raided. You could have just picked that's it. What, that's what your memory tells you. Oh, fuck. So I just say I just I I I, I took it after. So you could have just. I mean, if a raid, even there will be deaths on both sides. I'm sure the guard killed some of that those death cult people. Hell, you said you killed you. You met up with some of them. Maybe you just took one of their shields. Cross is just at this point like looking at his hands, like shaking. So like, these these hands are stained with the blood of innocence. Well, oh God, <laughs> Cross, do you think you would remember something like this? I mean, did you have any blackouts on the day? Do you know where you were on that day? Maybe this isn't <laughs> the best place to do this. Even we know this place is affecting our minds. No. Get up, Matt. Is there like an is there like an altar in here? Yeah. I'm going to, like, stumble over to the altar and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to try and reach out to Tyr. As, as you walk across the, the echoey hall, the, the room, your feet crunch under the bones of the dead here. As, as you walk across the, the, the people who had died here praying to, to Lyra to save them. Um... But yeah, so you can head Damn to the Damn that, you know how to twist oh, okay. the knot. <laughs> All those people you killed. <laughs> so Carlos will kind of just like stumble over and then just like claps to his knees mm -hmm. and just 
crunch like, again or get into the bone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I'll just close my eyes. I'll just reach and I'll say, "Look, dear, I, I, I need you. <laughs> did 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 I do this?" Oh. Oh. Um, I, I'll let you guys do hello. something if you want, but so, I'm there. Sorry. Can I see the death symbol anywhere else in the church? Like, marked on the wall, on robes of a dead person, anywhere else other than the shield that's in my hands now? No. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. Um... If no one's sorry, is anyone doing anything else? Obviously, I mean, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna look around. To see, I mean, this is desecrated ground. Is there anything? I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Any anything that would signify something being uh, <sighs> any, dis, anything go. anything disturbed or <laughs> like that? I, I don't want to be the one to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, yeah. So, so um... this is what you get for being evil. Or... Oh, I know. <laughs> Roll, roll your investigation, Sunny, to to have a look around. Um, While Sunny's rolling, can I reach out to the other person who's contacted me uh, at the at night and just say, "Did did did you know?" Oh God! They also do not respond to you. You are thinking. you are strangely, you feel no connection to any god at all in this moment in time. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over to him, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna kneel beside him. Turi doesn't give a shit about the bones, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she's gonna kneel beside him, and um, she's just gonna say, uh, "Cross." Um, I have seen this method before. It is used to hide. Symbols, glyphs, uh, something that you do not want your <sighs> surroundings to necessarily know. I um, this is common practice. How, how 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 can I choose what what to believe? What if what if it was me who did those things? If I could tell you something that I too have been shocked in my own beliefs. I would ask one question of you. Would you truly wish this death cult to die if you are a part of it? Yes. (laughs) Then I tell you one thing and one thing only. I do not believe it is as it seems. I do not believe what we have been told is as it seems. I do not believe what the gods have been telling us is as it seems. When you were first visited by Tyr that night, are you sure it was him? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm adrift on a stormy sea. <laughs> <laughs> the gods have abandoned me. <laughs> Nadia! We have not abandoned you. (laughs) Nadia has been standing like a couple of metres away. Mm -hmm. And he's going to say, is a desecrated church really the best place to consider your faith? She has a point. This, This is... This place holds something for me. Whether it's truth, lies, fiction, we need... I need to discover... Well, well, that was that I just saw. If anything's, if anyone's going to know this, it's clearly magic at work. We be- best go to a place where wizardry is at its highest. Can you not see if there's a spell woven into this place? I can try. You're a mage. I can try. Krusk isn't magical, so I'm not going to roll. But if somebody's like, I can try. <laughs> it's not really my area of magic, but I can give it a go. Um, I got 13 for that investigation, by the way, but I don't know if that mm-hmm. makes any difference. Um, do I roll Arcana? Yeah. Yeah, your, your investigation, it's just lots of lots of dead bodies in here. That's good. 13. Um. I don't think I've got anything that's going to be 
difficult. There is a very because this place used to be uh, the place of joy, as as Lyra is, it, it, this Lyra is, is the goddess of joy. She had such an uplifting mood and and, and enjoyment to to people. She had just a connection to the people, and now that her people are gone, there is no presence of 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 of, of holiness or divine magic here. Mm, I can only tell you that there's no divine magic here. Whether that's I mean, not all magic is divine. Someone else could have put a curse on this place, potentially. Mm-hmm. If, if, well, again, just because we saw someone who wasn't Krusk doesn't mean it wasn't Krusk. And just because he saw somebody who was doesn't mean it was. Indeed. Ideally, we need to find out what happened. I would have thought, one way or another, if someone had used a spell on Krusk to either mind control him into killing these people or alter his memories, someone higher skilled than I in magic in magic will be able to know whether he's had anything like that done to him or not. If he hasn't done anything had anything like that on him, chances are though it wasn't him in that thing we just saw. Because there'll be some residual imprint in his brain somewhere. Also, Krask, Turi's right. Do you remember what you were doing that day? Do, do I remember? <laughs> I mean, from my memory, I just went... I came back here, the town was destroyed. What was your and... memory before that? Why were you not in the town? <laughs> just was out running errands. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really think that far. <laughs> I was... well, do you remember those errands? Uh, Were you hunting? Yeah, I, no, I, Krask isn't really a hunter. Let's let's just say he he went out. <laughs> OC has just <laughs> make it the fuck up. I mean, again, <laughs> I mean, all, doing we, uh, all we're okay. trying to figure out is if do you have like solid memory of what you did? Okay. Doesn't matter okay. what it is, as I, long as you've got I, a solid memory of it. I went out to practice playing my bone flute. <laughs> he went right? to perform. <laughs> Look, it's it's a bit embarrassing, okay? It's uh it's something that, you know, is a bit personal to me. So my bone pipes. So I went out for the day, you know, I found a nice quiet spot in the forest, I patched my bone pipes, and when I came back the the town was burning. And you spent all day outside. Yes. I'm very dedicated to my bone pipes. Do you remember what you had for lunch? Do you remember eating? I believe I had a apple pie. <laughs> remember the journey back. <laughs> I remember. Yes, I. It's, it's clear to me, but what, what, what is the truth, and what, what are the lies? I can't. Well, I can't distinguish. If someone's put a spell on you to alter your memory of what you were doing, Chaleri says that somebody would know. So we can find out. If somebody didn't put a spell on you, then you didn't do it. Because if you didn't remember doing it, you would have a gap in your memory. So even okay. if someone's changed that memory, well, or put, or, you know, put a memory there, which argues that they were forcing you to do it if it was you. Or they took somebody and made them look like you. I mean, which is obviously a thing. I mean, for example, and I'll make my face look like crusts. It's easy enough to do. Yeah. That's bizarre. <laughs> okay, Krusk is <clears throat> going to nod slowly and kind of, you know, crease, like, sort, of push, sort of push himself back up to his feet. And say, I'm, I'm, we must we must seek the wizards if, and see if they can tell me the truth of what happened here. And if, if I am the one responsible, I will take responsibility for what I have done. And if someone has done this to me, to fooled me into thinking it was me, my hands which did this act when it was not, 
then hunt them down and smite them to the lowest pits of hell. <laughs> yes. Speaking from experience, when magic's not involved, there is a gap in your memory. But until I actually no, I, I won't I won't say that. But um I'll I'll go and I'll sing the shield back on. And as we Do you put the the... covering over it as well? Oh the... shit, oh, I forgot it's got the thing. You can no, be... I'm, I, I'm I... currently holding it as well, so. Sorry, okay, no, no, I forgot I had that. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at the shield and I'm gonna say get that out of my sight. <laughs> Minus two AC. <laughs> <laughs> so he's um, going to leave the uh, church with the shield and, I don't know, uh, maybe go go around the side where <laughs> Grass can't see it and just lay it against the wall. Okay. Matt, are there any swords on the ground as we walk around? Plenty, but they've been open to the exposure of the air over the the year or so this has occurred. So that's fine. I'll pick up. I'll pick up like a battered sword. So yeah. So you've got a rusty. What kind? Short sword, long sword? Uh, I'll take a long sword, I guess. Okay. Rusty okay. long sword. Yeah, rusty yeah. long sword. I mean, you won't be able to dual wield two long swords. I'm not using my other long sword <laughs> until we find out what's happened here. <laughs> That stays okay. interesting. That stays yeah. pure, even though you've been using it this entire time. No, this think, sword wait really till takes, wait till he unsheaths the other one. That's just when that's when shit will go. <laughs> so yeah, so <laughs> you, you can you can probably get together some kind of very poor um, sheath as well, but it's not in very good condition either of them. That's okay. So I'm gonna put rusty long sword and. Crappy sheath. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, Crust decided to abandon his weapons as well. I've I've I'll keep the sword on me, but I'm I refuse to draw it <laughs> while, while I'm unsure about what's happened here, and I'm not touching that shield ever again. <laughs> so, and uh, I'll, I'll let somebody else do something, but I'm going to slowly wrong make with the sword. It it's got the inscription "Blessed are those who act justly" and it's like represents here. I refuse to. <laughs> <laughs> do we, do you... That was an icy question, by the way. Oh. Is that an icy answer? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll say this: this sword is meant to be wielded by one who's just, and I'm no longer sure if that's me. Do you want to be just? Uh, it's not a question of one. It's a question of what I'm, what I am, and I'll discover what I am when. Oh yeah, because justice just turns up fully formed, and nobody ever has to work at it. <clears throat> I'm gonna like crouch down and gather up like some dust from the ground, and I'll hold it up, and then like run through my fingers, and say, "The ground of this city is stained with the blood of innocence, and if I had anything to do with it, then I cannot be just." That's, that's fair. Um, with that, we'll head back to to Gar and Thoradin. Going through mm-hmm. the the sewers, looking for the exit out of the city. Um, through the city, the sewers, you you can pick out the the exit path going through that you would normally take, Gar. That you 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 would guess is similar to um to the one in Tear Town, to the one that you can imagine that we similar for here in Lyra Heights. Um, and there, there, there is just bodies after bodies, just dead and submerged, floating along. It's whoever did try to escape. If there were any, there wasn't many of them. Right. Um, it seems like we can get through, though, right? Yes. Yeah, so you were able to to pick your way through and. And you're on the outskirts of... If you wish, you you can be on the outskirts. To yeah, I think we were just making sure that it was an option in case mm-hmm. shit fell through back in town. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Escape route. <clears throat> so, I, I Does it look like a... anyone actually escaped? As in got out on the other end? It's hard to tell. It's certainly open, so... 
people could have been chased out and then killed further out, or they could have got out and managed to escape. I mean, you there's not much knowledge of what happened here to the thieves' cult, so yeah. take that knowledge as you will. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was pretty much a bummer. Trying to head back. Yeah. This is a slaughter. Let's go. Yeah, we'll head back up then. There's not much there. Unless the bodies are anything on the bodies. <laughs> Wrong investigation. Yeah, I think I would search the bodies as well. 11 for me. Okay. Nine, 19. Okay, so among the smatterings of, of bodies and corpses, you you find about seven gold thrown in, and, and, and about three copper, and gar, you find about three three gold, and about two two silver. <coughs> the, the dead bodies of your brethren and the bandits. The gold's got to go to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any symbols? Yeah, wasted down here. On the bodies. It's just generic armor and. Okay. <clears throat> and there's the, on on the some of the rags. There's some markation of thieves cult, but I mean generally speaking, the thieves cult doesn't have its own branding. Mm. It's a bit too blatant. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So. Okay. So you, you make it back to the square. So what are the rest of you guys doing? What in the in the square? Elias is pretty quiet about the whole thing, kind of like because he's he's not really doesn't want to intrude on your moment. Cause he's not really <laughs> part of your group. Um, I'm gonna head over to my old house. Mhm. Mm oh, I'm gonna follow him. Okay, so your old house is over here. It's this one on the left. Oh, I'll mark it with a uh, orange dot so remember for next time. Mm -hmm. So that's your your old house. And okay, so you go. Is there any, who else is going with him? I don't think if we're out. I'll go. Yeah, did we, we wouldn't go out in time. Did you guys if, if come out of the followed. oddity shop? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. they would have. Nadia's like... <laughs> Nadia, who's looking at the oddity shop, a very intent look on her face, asks you where you've been. <laughs> just, uh... Not, not I mean, in I'm a, like, judgmental way, just, like... I mean, she's very, like, a curious way. I'm gonna... No, fl I, I'm gonna flick her a gold piece and say... <laughs> Just getting some loot. <laughs> <laughs> we found Get it wherever route. we can. An escape route? Mm. Well, that explains it then. Well, you certainly missed some drama. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm guessing we don't see the other two there. No. Well, the, the people there would have been heading back, so heading to there. So you're all able to be in the square at the same point. With the yeah, so I mean, is is, is Krusk a visible wreck? Yeah, he's, I'd say he's looking pretty bad. He's got, he hasn't got a shield anymore. He's got like a really shitty sheath with like a rusty sword poking out. <laughs> he's got probably like drying tear stains like on his face. <laughs> I'll um, I will probably, I will just for the interest of time, I'll relay what happened. Yeah, mm. and point out spe specifically that me and Nadia saw something different to uh, mm -hmm. Turi and Krusk. Mm. And everything else. So basically, you know everything that we know now. Do you think we should pop our heads in, see if anything happens? <sighs> Maybe. Be interesting. Might see something different. It would be interesting. Our character With, without Krusk. Worth worth checking out because if he, maybe it was based on the people that went in. Maybe Krusk went went in first. I don't know. Without him, maybe you might get some. Maybe it'd be one of you two instead. Elias, what did you see? I saw the destruction of a city by by Krusk, is it? Oh no. Hold <laughs> his face as well. Trying to turn us against each other. Three out of five. Those two pop poking their heads in is actually really interesting to see yeah. what they see. Obviously, I think, I can't, I think, I'm not going to say in character, but. <laughs> no, I think you, that would be interesting enough to go yeah. have a look at least. Do you both go in? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
You both go I'm in. I'm going. Yeah. Nothing happens when you go in. <laughs> you just <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> it was guy. <laughs> Krask. I think I think you've gone to the dark side. <laughs> are you? Oh, are you yeah, well, that's, sorry, <laughs> that's interesting because Krask that means it needs to, that means it needs to trigger. Yeah, I'm thinking Krask shield. Him. Anyone see where he threw that shield? Oh, I I moved it. It's uh. Yeah, well, you're. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't tell anyone where I was putting it. I was getting out of sight for Krask. Unless you say we're not going to find it, aren't we? So. No, she wouldn't mention it either. Huh, that's very strange. <coughs> I wonder if it only activates when Krask goes in? Or maybe someone of the cult? I don't know. Maybe. You up for another round, Krusk? <laughs> oh, I seemed like Krusk wasn't here because you were like all talking about it. <laughs> I was going to say, well, while you were all no, no, talking no, about it, I imagine people would have carried on going towards his, his family home. Yeah, have you guys returned from the family home at this point, or is this before no, they left for it? No, before they left. So you, I guess, you guys, I guess you're, in, we'll... you're a 10 is the head there, but you're all in the square at the moment. I guess what we'll say is Krusk is like a bit just out of earshot, but you can see him, just so it's not like an awkward conversation that he's listening to. So you can call <laughs> after him if you want. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I would call and ask him if he wants to have another go. Cross is going to just turn and... Relive that whole thing again. Yeah, oh, I'm looking God. at with, with bloodshot Oops. eyes. What, what did you call Tim? Um, do you want to give it another bash? Give, I, I do not understand. Give, give what another bash? Your mad vision. <laughs> you, you want me to go back in there? No, I'll leave him now, not but... Right, yeah, I'm sensing some animosity here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not a good idea, so I'll... No. Maybe later. <laughs> Crust is gonna... You get my role. Crust will continue his trudge over to his family home. Oh, sorry, rest... no, his family home, his, his house. Would the rest of you guys go with him, or just to go there? is definitely following. And if she's gonna, like, put down a hood and her mask as well while she's walking. Mm, I think I'd follow a distance. You should give him his space, don't you think? Yeah. That's no, nah, sorry, it's fine. While, while, while we, them, while we you, figure out what we do next. Smart. Yeah, I think he needs protection more than anything. <laughs> I suppose. He's in a fragile state. He's vulnerable. Yeah, so we, wouldn't, we wouldn't want him to do anything to himself, I guess. Yeah. He picked up a rusty sword and a rusty yeah. scabbard and decided to walk away from all of us. <laughs> I'm not... Leaving him alone. <laughs> Very good point. All right, fine. We'll follow. Okay. So, um, you, all, you all, you guys, get to um, his, his old home, and in, in that we'll end the session tonight. Oh. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I like it. Yeah, very good, very good. Oh, shit, Cross. Completely caught me off guard. I didn't expect right. that at all. Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one.